Hey guys, welcome to my channel and my first ever video. My name is Tori, that is Trenton, my fiance, and let's just roll right into it, shall we? <laughs> okay, so recently I got the Tiny Living pack. Um, and I haven't gotten to play around with it very much yet, so I'm, that's what we're doing today. We're going to be playing Tiny Living. I'm really excited about it. I've already created a sim that's mostly Tiny Living stuff and a little bit more of like the uh -huh. update stuff that recently came out. Um, so this is our sim, Alessandra Wilkins. She is going to be living in our tiny house. She wants to find her soulmate. She is squeamish, creative, and a cat lover, which I think is probably perfect for living in a tiny home. And I, like I said, I tried to give her as much tiny living stuff as I could. I didn't change her hair color. I kind of just kept her where she was. So I gave her some tiny living hair. These glasses are from tiny living. Some of her makeup is the MAC stuff that recently came out. I think her eyeshadow and her um, uh, blush or um, bronzer is from the MAC stuff that just came out. Her top is from the tiny living stuff. And then her bottoms, I think, are base game. And then her shoes are from City Living. So, again, this is Alessandra Wilkins, and she is who we will be moving into our tiny home. Let's go ahead and get in game. So we can test this stuff out. So I've decided to place Alessandra in Windenburg just because, like, I, um, I'm feeling like she'd be very cottagecore and very um, relaxed, laid back, wanted to be one with nature and stuff like that. And so I've decided that Windenburg is probably the best place that she's going to fit in. I feel like all of the houses and the buildings around here are very natural looking and all of that. So that's where we're going to place her. No! Oh, it's raining. Oh, I know. I know. It's a hard life. It's hard. It's hard. Calm down. All right, and we are probably going to need some money, right? Okay. Oh, so they put the traits panel somewhere separate now. Interesting, interesting. So like I said, we're gonna be doing tiny living residential. Um, okay guys, so here we are on our lot, good and empty. Um, I don't really know which size home we're going for yet, but I know I want to make like a cottage core lofty type deal. So we're not gonna all be on one floor. I wanna have, cause The Sims finally introduced us to some ladders. So we can put a ladder up and have a nice little loft area. And we'll just see how much we can do. Um, I would love, love to do a micro home. <laughs> like, and see how tiny we could go. But like I said, this is my first time ever using the tiny living stuff. So we probably, I might not get to micro home, but we will try our dangest to get to micro home, um, which is 32 tiles, which I, if we're doing two floors, probably can't do. Because if we think about it, this is already 100 tiles. So that's not very much room at all. I also gave myself this huge lot, which I do plan on actually, um, I really plan on with the huge lot, I plan on making a very foresty scene back in the back, which I would love. Of course, and then so this one, this one's already tiny. So if we go, how many tiles? So if we go like here, and then we, there's only one tile left that we can use, <laughs> and that's a tiny home. Oh my gosh. Okay. So if we're going for micro home, this still isn't even enough. That's a micro home, and we only have two tiles left from there. Oh my gosh. Okay, so yeah, we're probably not gonna get to micro home level. Um, okay, so if we do that and then we go upstairs, we still have, how many tiles is that? 22 tiles left that we can play with. Um, let's see if I can make like, nope, that's too many tiles. But if I shrink a dink it in, there. Okay, all right, okay. So, this is what we play in with here. <laughs> this is my insane shell that we are going to play with. Okay. Okay, so I gotta start thinking about where the heck I'm gonna put this ladder. Um, so the ladder's gotta go somewhere. Um,
So the interior is decorated. Interior is done. So let's go ahead and put up some wallpaper and some flooring. Okay, so I just looked at the house like this <laughs> and realized how dumb it looks. Oh no, okay. It's really just that piece up top that we're doing the loft part in that looks really dumb. It just looks really dumb. <laughs> so... Okay, so after a lot of debating with myself in my head, I decided that if the roof wanted to look funky, and if the house wanted to look funky, we may as well go with it. <laughs> so this is what we've got for the roof now. We've got a bit of curvature going on there, and then we got the nice little steeple going on here. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna make this part a different type of exterior, and then I'm going to, um, put that little like foundation line thing right there and decide on how to decide the foundation um how to decide on how to design the foundation so <sighs> that took a lot <laughs> Okay guys, so with all of that done, and the roof, and the trim, and so many things done, this is what we're sitting with. Like I said, if the house was designed to be funky, we may as well let it be funky. So on the top, we got a circular roof. It's blue, it's got green trim. The whole top is just a totally different piece. On the bottom, we have a barn type roof that's very curved, that, has, that just looks more natural than the top piece. And then for the foundation, I decided to continue on with the weirdness and let it be like this colorful stone type thing. Um, we're trying to invite the fairies in, right? So let's, let's bring the fairies in, shall we? On that note, I'm gonna go ahead and continue on with the exterior and add some windows. So I'll update y'all in a minute.
So I've put these windows down and I've suddenly realized that this house is starting to look a lot like a church. <laughs> Looks a lot like a tiny church. But you know what? At least the interior looks like a home. It literally, it looks like a renovated church. That's what it looks like. It looks like a renovated church. But you know what? We can go with it. It's a historical site. It's a, it's a what? You know what? That's fine. <laughs> we'll go with it. It works. You know, I got to put on some lights. I got to put down some wallpaper inside. I've got to put down some flooring. We need to put some plants everywhere to make it more cottage core. We need to give her a nice little forest out here. Okay guys, so I think I finally finished our renovated church into a tiny home. Um, this is what the front looks like, if you're looking at it. Like I said, there's a little circular roof up here. I decided to place two little vases up front on the door here, and then put some little plants out here. And then, if we go inside, we can see a little living area right here. We have placed plants literally everywhere in this house. There's even a plant right here in the bathroom. But like I said, we have plants everywhere. I decorated the walls with a little bit of blue wallpaper everywhere. And then I put down this little nice um, floor here on the front. We just have some stone, same in the bathroom. And then if we move up into the bedroom, normally I put carpets in the bedroom, but I thought about it and was like, we have a bathtub in the bedroom and I'm from the US. So it's weird to have carpet in a bathroom for me. So we put wood down everywhere and I just placed this nice little carpet from Tiny Living underneath the bed. Again, plants everywhere. And I'm just really happy with how that came out. And yeah. So here is our tiny home slash renovated church into a tiny home. 54 tiles used out of 64. So we did pretty good on that. Um, one bedroom, little loft area. And then we've got the living room, the kitchen, we've got a little bathroom, and then up top we have the bathtub. So I just, I really enjoy how this actually came out as much as I struggled with this roof. But going with the story now, this is a renovated church at this rate. So I will go ahead and upload this up to the gallery if anybody wants to use it. And yeah. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching my building video of our cottage, tiny home, church refurbishment build thing. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe for more Sims and more building stuff. Drop a comment of what you want to see next. Do you want to see Alessandra living in the home? Do you want to see me building a forest around the church renovated home thing? Um, so let me know down in the comments what you want to see next. So that's that on that. I'll send I'll send that off to the gallery and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.